Initiating success run. System one of it. Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Ikri Kids TV season 2. We are back with a bang. We've got some amazing new features just for you. For example, we've got ABCs of Islam, we've got Muslim maestros, we've got Nasheed downloads and so much more. But before I do anything else or say anything else, I just want to make sure that I'm going to be okay. Can you guys see me? You can see me, yeah? Why am I asking that? Because earlier on, unfortunately, me and uh, me and Beanie had a bit of a tiff, right? Oh yeah. And you know sometimes he messes with the special effects button. Well, we've got this special effects that can make you go invisible, okay? So I know I'm not invisible because I can see myself on the monitor. So I know I'm here. Oh, I've gone invisible again. Oh goodness me. Beanie, where are you? Oh my gosh, I've got... Maybe if I stamp my feet. Oh yes, I've come back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, so Beanie, he threw some invisible paint over me and it seems to come and go. Oh, I've disappeared again. Can you guys see me? Yeah, I am here. I'm waving at you. Oh, I'm back again. Right, Beanie's got a lot to answer for. Let me tell you that. But in the meantime, let me put the final touches on today's show and let's go. Initiating system one. System one loaded. Great influence, first of all. I mean, I've been working on my album with Abdullah Rowe, so... So, um, yeah, so I had this idea, I was like, okay, cool. And then um, COVID came. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, this is Umar Salam, and I am a musician and educator. So it all started from um, coming from a family of musicians, starting from my granddad and then um, my mum, my uncles and aunties, uh, they were all singers and instrument uh, players as well. So um, I was always around musical instruments, I was always around songs and singing. So yeah, and then um, I started playing instruments from a very young age and then I got into beat making, you know, when I was around seven or eight, you know, uh, very young, uh, when my dad bought me my first computer and then I started making um, sounds and beats on a computer and then um, it really it progressed and then um, I started making beats for radio shows and then um, jo <coughs> joining competitions and then... Um, working with like famous artists and then I had some famous mentors mentoring me you know and then um, at around 15 uh, by then I was rapping singing and making beats and then I'd, I'd got signed and then um, when you get signed you can take your music career further and then yeah ever since then I've always been into music production so yeah that's how I got into um, music there's a lot of passion there yeah. You know, mashallah, it's just already creating your own content and that, and then working towards yeah. your idea now. Yeah, yeah. So like I was building up and it came to a point where COVID happened and I think the world stopped then. So I got involved in a, a wide variety of projects, um, range from charity song projects, um, to music video projects, to performing, uh, setting up events, uh, sound mixing, 
So quite a lot of projects and um, the reason I got involved in these different types of projects was to also get experience, you know, and experience is very important when you are going into an industry, you know, so um, I definitely say try things and uh, like I did and do as many projects as you can. <laughs> So, um, how does Dean influence my work? It, well, first of all, it's about believing in Allah, and everything you do, um, I always think of Allah, and um, I always, I always feel like Allah has put me in this position for a reason, and um, it's whether to learn or to understand or to progress, you know, and develop, you know. So, I always think about uh, why Allah has put me in different positions, and those are the reasons why. And that helps me to create what I create, you know, because um, sometimes when I'm in the studio, I'm like, uh, you know, I'm in the studio, alhamdulillah, at this moment. So, you know, um, then I think of subjects and uh, moods or type of beats to make. And um, I always think of the purpose of why I'm doing it. So, how did I get into Halal Beats? Uh, well, how did Halal Beats start? Well, so, as I was uh, making beats, singing and rapping, um, I decided I wanted to kind of uh, divert a little bit from that and get involved in media, TV and film. So, I picked up a camera and I started filming, then I started editing and then I started creating videos. So, um, when I started creating videos, I was always looking for a sound you know to match the videos it's a guy although you're on your own you'll never be alone we you pray for peace for the land let's turn to stone so, um, I decided to start making vocal and beats you know and um, so I used to work with Abdullah Ro on these beats and um, you know they started progressing and progressing and then I had a bunch of beats you know so then I created a website and then um, started a business and actually posted the beats on for content creators and videographers like myself to use in the videos you know um, so that's that's how I got into it so guys you hear this beat in the back it's called Fallen I think you will know it very well so how do I make a beat? so I think of um, the mood first you know, I'll think of maybe an experience or mood and I think, okay, how could I create a melody to that mood, you know, so I think of something happy and I'll, and I'll just create a happy melody like dun, 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 dun. You can see how the notes are just getting higher It's Umar Salams and in this video I show you how I break down a halal beat, vocals only So as you can see over here, you've got the yellow blocks and the blue blocks The yellow blocks are the vocal leads and the blue blocks are the vocal chords so here's some backing vocals I recorded earlier to create a chord here is the build up of the backing vocals starting with track 1 moving on to the vocal leads we're going to play them one by one and see how they sound This is how it sounds together. You know, so that represents happiness for me, and that's a happy melody that I could use. You know, so I'd always record the melody, um, and then what I'll do is layer it with other vocals. You know, such as chords. You know, so I'd have like a dun 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 dun, and then once I recorded that, I'll start working on the chords. You know, so start layering the sound. You know. 
and then in the background I might have a chord that sounds like and then once I put that together it starts building and then you, and then and then there you have it you have a halal beat routine just stopped so it was like right let me think of what to do you know I'm, I think we had some time I mean there was lockdowns and stuff like that so I was like right I can't just sit here and not do nothing kind of thing like I've got to do something so how can you get involved? So um, what you can do is pick up for filming. If you want to get into the uh, me media industry, pick up a camera. I mean, we all got tablets and iPads. You know, have a go, pick up a camera, uh, press record, and then create a video. You know, it could be an advert. You know, it could be uh, vlogging. You know, a day out in the park or something like that. Uh, now music, how to get into beat making. Um, for instance, like you have an iPad or you have a tablet, you have a device, there are apps out there, you know, such as GarageBand, you know, and you can practice using these apps, you know, to create, you know, basic melodies, basic beats, you know, um, recorded by your voice, you know, so um, have a go, start now and see what you can make. Whole. Um, so ideally what I and Halal Beats would like to do is educate um, music um, in a Halal way, in a way where um, Muslims are comfortable in doing it, um, you know, without instruments, you know, and um, I think one of, them, one of the main ways is uh, identifying your voice as an instrument, you know, and how you can use that. And not only uh, beatboxing, not only um, instrument imitation, but actually using it to maybe present presentations and using it in speech and learning tones and melodies and so on. So this is what <coughs> we want to do, you know, within the schools and uh, with children and guys like you, you know, um, that want to learn a bit more about how um, music is used in a world of Muslims. Sammy and Kiki, Space Kids. Danger in Space. Sammy and Kiki are on a quest to find their parents who are lost in space. While exploring Allah's creation, the kids went deep into space, but Sammy's safety rope broke. So Kiki gave chase. He flew out of sight. The last thing she saw was his boots. How long could he last with hardly any air in his suit? Then Kiki remembered. Whether in space, near or far, 
There is nothing more powerful than sincere Dua. Suddenly he reappeared in a glittery shower, with a grin on his face and a bunch of space flowers. It was only a trick, he wanted to give her a surprise. She was so happy, that tears filled her eyes. Ramadan is the ninth month in the Islamic lunar calendar. Healthy adult Muslims fast in Ramadan from dawn till dusk. This includes abstaining from drinking, eating, immoral acts and being angry. Other acts of worship such as prayer, reading the Quran and charity are also encouraged during the holy month of Ramadan. Ramadan is also the month in which some of the first words of the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Right, so uh, let's go and find the other three. Another R, here it is. <laughs> R. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> this color. Little, little change. R. <laughs> Thank you. You made more fun. Thank you. No, no. So she went me to. <laughs> You wrote pound for that balloon, is it really worth it? R is for Rasul. Rasul is defined as a messenger, an individual who is given a new sharia or code of law by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The message is received by the Rasul as a vision while he is asleep or as a conversation with angels while he is awake. Of the many thousands of prophets and messengers that have been sent over time, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well that was funny isn't it? Right, let's go find the other two. Found it. R is for Rajab. Rajab is believed to be the month of Allah, which is why Muslims pay such great attention to it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said that Rajab is the month of Allah and the Prophet's month is Shaban, whereas Ramadan is the month of the Ummah. This is why Muslims devote their time and prayers and help in the needy during the holy month of Rajab. 
Rajab is also one of the four holy months in Islam. And we've got one more out of five. Rakat is the name used for the series of movements performed during Salah or prayers. These movements are performed whenever a Muslim performs Salah, prayer, either in a masjid or at home. Although we can pray to Allah at any time, there are five prayers that we must perform every day. It is important to remember that whenever the call to prayer is made, we should try and make our Salah on time and perform our Rakats. Hey guys, thank you so much for helping me find all of the R's here in Chinatown. Of course, they were Rajab, Rasul, Ramadan, and Rakat. MashaAllah. Right, guys. I don't know what other letters are out there, but I know we're going to find them together. Take care of yourself. Speak to you soon. Assalamu alaikum. Right guys, that was awesome. Do you like our new features? Whatever the case is, love it, hate it, think we can improve it, we need you to send us an email address just saying guys, I really like this, I really like that, I don't like this, I don't like that. You should do this, you should do that. All you need to do is send me an email on the following email address info at ikra.tv and we would love to hear from you guys and gals out there in the wonderful world of tv land right i'm hoping that i'm not gonna oh i've disappeared again never mind guys i am actually waving right now you won't know it but i am waving at you guys thank you for seeing us thank you well not for seeing me right now but normally and see you soon guys take care salam alaikum Kids TV.